guys, thanks for watching part two on my series about caring for your elderly chihuahua. If you missed part one, you can click here for a link to that first video. And I'll also put the link in the description below. So quick update. So after about a week of being on the azo dial and having the antibiotic for her gum infection, we have noticed an increase in her energy a little bit, just a little bit of a more of a spring in her step, her being more interested in coming and having couch time with us instead of just sleeping all the time. So I'm really excited that the azo dial seems to be helping with her kidney function and I'm hoping that this new diet will also help to improve her kidney function. I will keep you guys posted. In case this is your first time watching Sweetie Pie Pets, this is my Tina right here, and she's gonna be turning 14 in just a couple of weeks. And recently we've sort of noticed a slowdown and kind of a decline in her overall health. Her energy is lower and her aches and pains are kind of getting worse and her interest in food has really declined a lot. Tina, there's nothing in there yet, hold on. So in last week's video, we took a closer look at some of Tina's health issues that she's having and we took her to the vet for a checkup. So the first problem, as I had mentioned last week, is that she's got cataracts, which is kind of limiting her ability to get around the house. And secondly, she's lost most of her teeth, which has contributed to her having trouble eating. And we also discovered that she has a gum infection. But the worst of the problem was that her blood and her urine results showed that she's having some kidney failure problems right now. So our veterinarian recommended getting her started on azodial, and that's what we've done, and it's supposed to help to clear out the toxins in her kidneys. So in this week's video, I'm going to share with you the diet that I've put her on, the diet that I'm recommending in case you have an elderly chihuahua or dog of any breed that has kidney failure. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Sweetie Pie Pets. Click the bell for alerts when I release my next video in my series on caring for your elderly chihuahua. All right, so a little background first. I grew up out in the country, and quite honestly, I've never dealt with this issue of having an elderly dog. And that's not because we didn't have dogs, we did have dogs, but the dogs that we had were outdoor dogs that ended up getting like entangled with rattlesnakes and skunks and coyotes and all kinds of country sort of things. So the dogs that I had when I was a kid were not really the cuddle bug type. So learning about the special requirements of an elderly dog is kind of new to me. And I've had to do a lot of research. So I did my due diligence and I researched what I can feed my dog that has kidney failure. It was a lot to process. First off, I learned that she should have less protein as a senior, but higher quality protein. Kidney failure affects blood pressure and it's important to minimize blood pressure issues with your dog. But there was more. You need the right balance of grains to proteins, minerals, and of course the correct vitamins to support the kidneys as well. So I had already been giving my Tina boiled chicken for the protein, but I hadn't considered like the grains and the vitamins and the minerals part of it. So I began searching for food that's specifically designed for dogs with kidney failure and I found this product. It's called Hills Science Prescription Diet. The Hills Prescription Diet supposedly is going to help slow the progression of chronic kidney disease that Tina has. So if you have a dog with kidney failure like my Tina, then this is what I'm recommending right now. However, I haven't tried it yet and we're gonna try it on Tina and see how it works. At this point, I just need to get her to eat something and it's soft food and this is supposed to be what she needs for her kidneys, so we're gonna give it a try. you can eat. Oh. The consistency of this is perfect for a dog with no teeth because as her doctor said, she needs to eat sort of like pate textured food and that way she doesn't have to chew it. What do you think of the pate? Oh. So thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys have any thoughts or questions or advice, maybe you've gone through this already, please leave your comments in the description below because I love getting the feedback from you guys and hearing from you guys. So please let me know what you think. And don't forget next week to look for my part three on the series of caring for your elderly Chihuahua. We'll see you guys next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye.